Hi, I'm Valerie. Thanks for tuning in today. I'm continuing to talk about how I'm using the five in a row unit study materials and books in a homeschool co-op. And we are coming to the end of our semester. We have an 11 week, 11 week semester here and it's been fun. It's been a lot of work, but it's I think it's reaping a lot of rewards. Today we're going to talk about how I used Katie and the Big Snow in co-op. Now this week was a two for one. Uh, it just so happened that this story coincided with a very very cold snap <laughs> that hit my area. We don't get a lot of snow or cold weather in my part of the country and so uh, this cold weather kind of was out of the blue. It was 73 degrees one day and then 26 the next day or something like that with really strong winds. So it reminded me of another five in a row book that I wasn't going to have time to devote a whole week to and it's this one, Stopping by Woods on a Snowy Evening by Robert Frost. It's the poem. It's not very long at all. And it's just got beautiful artwork in it. I'll try to show you some pictures. This is the style of artwork. And it goes through, I read the story and, and you know, carefully showed the drawings to all the kids as we as we do every week. We sit in a semicircle for like a story time. And uh, I wish I had gone through, read the story through, and then gone back to the beginning and shown the pictures because stopping to show the pictures uh, as I read it sort of broke the rhythm of the poem. So if you're reading this aloud, that's a little tip for you. <laughs> you might want to read it through and then go back and admire the drawings because they are beautiful. So we read this. It didn't take very long to go through this story. As I mentioned, it's just a poem. It's not very long. And then we went into Katie and the Big Snow. I made some flashcards for a few of the words in this story uh, before we started reading. Words like three alarm fire, emergency, uh, bulldozer, uh, steamroller, things like that. And so we were able to kind of be aware of what words to listen for as we went through the story. It's a cute story about a town that has a massive snowstorm hit it, Geopolis, uh, is hit by a big snowstorm, and uh, Katie is an all-purpose uh, vehicle. She is a bulldozer, and she's a shovel, and she is a snowplow, and she's a big snowplow. It has to be a big snow for them to call Katie out, and Katie saves the day, and this is the story of how she does it. So it's a fun story. I think all the kids enjoyed hearing it. This is the same author who wrote Mike Mulligan and his steam shovel, and um, so you could continue along that line and talk about big equipment if your kids like construction equipment, things like that. You could talk about that. Um, I chose to go a different direction. We talked about maps and direction because the whole story talks about how she had to go west and she had to go east and north and south and save the day and plow everybody out from the snow. So we, um, I went to Teachers Pay Teachers and I downloaded this printable. It has lots of lots of options you can use. We didn't at, by any stretch use everything that was offered in this. But I showed this, we, I just used this as an example and showed the kids. We talked about what a map key was and a compass rose and a scale on a map because they're not really, you know, kids today are used to seeing their parents use the GPS. I know I do. And so it's it was kind of fun to talk about a map and what it was like in the old days, boys and girls, when we had to use an atlas and plot our way through. So anyway, so it was a good opportunity to discuss how to use a map. And then we got a little bit of practice. I, I just used two of the printables from that download. I used this one, our campground. And it's got very simple instructions. It talks about how to read a grid map, you know, A1, A4, B, B2, whatever. And it gives them instructions on things to do, like draw trees in A4, um, draw tents in B1 and 2, uh, make a symbol for the picnic area and add it to the key. So here you can make your own um, symbol. And of course, we talked about the map key and what the symbols are and how they represent other things. And anyway, so then there's just uh, other directions they need to follow. So we went through this. We, actually, we started with this one. We didn't get a chance to quite finish this one. We started with the one about our zoo. And again, it's just asking questions. How many animal exhibits does the zoo have? If you're at the giraffe exhibit, what direction should you walk to get to the food court? And we had to, of course, find the symbol for giraffe and find the symbol for the food court. 
and then figure out which direction was which. And so that's when talking about the compass rose came in handy. Uh, this is a great printable uh, for first, second, third grade to teach them map skills, even without using Katie in the Big Snow. This is a really thorough printable, has lots of different types of maps you can uh, use to, to talk, you know, to teach your children how to use maps and navigate and plot a, a course and find their way. And we talked about all types of maps. We talked about how if you go to the zoo, you do get a zoo map. You don't get a map of the whole state. Uh, you can get a map of the whole state, but you know, when do we need different types of maps? There was a lot of good conversation we had about directions and maps and all of that. I did have one more printable we could have used. It was this um, I Spy Snowflakes. You graph um, the different snowflakes. They there's So there's a on, on this side here, you see the different styles of snowflakes and then how many of each one could you find and then you, you draw and color, color in the bar graph. We didn't have time to do that. I didn't send it home either because I really didn't think it was something that they would find really fun to do. Another idea I had was to uh, fold white paper or colored paper and cut snowflakes, but uh, we didn't have time for any of those things. The it, I really felt like they learned a lot today in the lesson. It wasn't just um, entertainment. A lot of times we do crafts, which I think are, are great. They teach them motor skills and how to take direction, and and it's fun. Uh, but this this was a lesson they really got to do something with, and I really enjoyed it that they were learning something new. A lot of them had never you know thought about using a map. They're little, and so it was kind of a, a new adventure for all of them. So it was a fun day. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I have a whole playlist of these five in a row um, videos. If you're interested, I will link to that in the box below. I will also link to the Teachers Pay Teachers download that I used for this lesson. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know in the comment section below this video. Please give me a thumbs up or subscribe if you haven't. And if you'd like to just say hello, I would love to talk to you. So thanks again and have a great day.